So we got a little bit of a project going. What is it? NCC 1701A, the USS Enterprise. Now, if you're a Star Trek fan, you know what this is. And I'm sorry, I know this may be sacrilegious because it's May the 5th. It's no longer May the 4th. So you know what? Get over yourself. It's fine. Anyway, I got this model from Gambody.com. Now, this isn't sponsored in any way. I um, came across Gambody a while ago, and I thought it was a little bit uh, too good to be true because the website's a little too good, too done, done too well, rather. And the models just look too good to be true as well. But I'm on a Gambody uh, Facebook group, and I'm telling you, people are printing their models and showing it, and they look freaking outstanding. And they just recently released the NCC 1701A, the 1701D, and a bunch of other Star Trek and Star Wars ships that look absolutely incredible. So we started it. This is number, uh, this is part number two. I think there's like 200 parts. Um, but yeah, this is the stand. And just to give you an idea, this is not upscale. This is directly from the site. This is um, first part of the stand. That's the second part. You'll see that just goes right in like a dovetail. It's going to be pretty friggin' large. This is just a small subset of what Gambody has, especially in the Star Trek area. area. But this is what I'm working on. The 1701A. Check this thing out. So for $34.99, you get this detailed model. Now, obviously, it doesn't come with lights, but it has channeling for lights as well. So if you want, I think it's the polar lights you can buy for this. Once it's printed, it has all the channeling, so you can go ahead and basically run your own lights and have, there's a breakdown of all the parts, and have a lit up model of the Enterprise 1701A. I mean, how cool is that? So there's a blowout of it. You can see how many parts it is. There's a lot of little parts inside. There's also a lot of details inside as well. Like, for instance, see, we get to it. Like the bridge. This is um, the garden windows, the garden inside at the bottom of the of the ship. What else is there? There's a bunch of other stuff, too. I forget now. But uh, the details. I think there's some engine room. There you go. Some in the engineering section. So there's a ton of details on this thing. I can't wait to get this thing together. I mean, it's going to be, like I said, a ton of parts. Um, Gambody's great. It even has an assembly video, a 360 view of the model. Um, but yeah, uh, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, it's my first, the shuttle bay. Like it's just crazy. Even has a little, uh, shuttle craft. There's a liring, uh, a liring, what a wiring diagram of how to wire this thing once it's done. I mean, the details are incredible. I do believe the pictures that were on Gambody are actually rendering. So they're not actual printed models, but on Facebook, these are actual printed models. So here's the 1701D from uh, Star Trek The Next Generation. There is also someone printing up a, there's a 1701A all broken up, printed, not put together yet. Here is an original Enterprise from the show, put together, painted and lighted. I mean, look at that. That's just outstanding. Now, in one of these videos, oh, there's another original. Another printed model. This was done on an anchor make, it looks like. So, yeah, it looks like the quality is certainly there. Uh, look at that. Klingon Bird of Prey. I mean, what? Seriously? Or the HMS Bounty, for those of you who know. So, yeah, this is going to be an amazing project. I mean, look at that. Just outstanding. There you go. Another one lit up. Beautiful. Again, 3D printed using those Gambody um, models. So... If you're interested, check it out, but follow the progress along the way. You're going to love it. So as we progress through the project, which is going to be a long one, um, I'll keep you updated. This is being currently printed on the FL Sun V400. I'm going to be using the X1 carbons from Bamboo Lab as well as we need it uh, for detail and speed and whatnot. But uh, yeah, we got about 200 parts and we're on part number two.